Hi and welcome to P2P Auto Detailing YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a comparison video of the new Chemical Guys C4 Heavy Cut with their new P4 Finishing Polish. So we're going to compare this to what I typically use in my shop uh, for, for doing a two-step correction because that's what the uh, Chemical Guys are doing here is they're, they're releasing a two-step product that is supposed to be stronger than their current V-Series. We're going to compare them to the two common products that I use in the shop here for working on, on paint. We're going to use a Sonex Cut Max and a Sonex Final. So lined up on the table here are all the pads and chemicals we're going to be going through. We're going to compare the Chemical Guys' C4 Clear Cut and the P4 Precision Paint Polish. We're going to be using also the Lake Country HDO Force Orange Cutting Pad and a Lake Country black finishing pad we're also going to be using a lake country aco fiber cut pad and finishing with a force red finishing pad then we also have a low lint wool pad and a one-step microfiber pad all from lake country comparison between the lake country fiber cut and the low lint wool pads our test panel is a 2011 dodge caravan that we've got separated into four different sections With all paint correction, there should be a decontamination process. As you see here, we'll clay barring the entire hood, and then after we're done clay barring, we'll wipe it down with an IPA, and get it nice and clean, and then I tape it off into individual sections. First up is the Lake Country Low Lint Wool Pad with the Cut Max Polish. The machine is Adams SK Pro 15 Swirl Killer. I have the machine speed set at 4. And even though I have the video sped up, my arm speed is fairly slow. And I do 4 passes. And then after that, after I wipe off, we move over to the Lake Country One Step Pad and I pair it with a 3D1 compound. Uh, the speed on the machine now is dropped down to 3. And my arm speed is slightly faster than what I was using for the cutting. Now the clear coat on the Dodge Caravan ranges between the moderate to to moderate hard as you can see this combination actually does really well except for within the crevice area on the hood and around the edges. There's still some swirls, some scratches that uh, the machine doesn't really do that well when it comes to crevice areas and or edges. Next up is the HDO fiber cutting pad and the Sonex Cut Max compound. Again starting off with machine speed 4. My downward pressure is moderate, you know, five or 10 pounds of down pressure, not a lot. And then after doing the cut, I move over to the red uh, force finishing pad and I'm using the Sonex Final. Uh, immediately I could already see that that was a completely different finishing. Now I move over to the HDO orange cutting pad. I paired up again with Cut Max.
and I move over to the Lake Country black finishing pad and the Sonex final. On this one, my machine speed, I drop it down to three. Arm speed is a slightly faster again, and I'm using no downward pressure on this. Unfortunately, the chemical guys' C4 uh, bottle seal was actually stuck in the cap and I had to pry it out. Uh, nothing major, I'm a slightly pain in the butt, but whatever. Now I'm using the, the Hex Logic yellow cutting pad and I'm on speed four again. My arm speed is slow. It's equal to the speed that I used when I was doing the cuts on the other, uh, on the other sections. Uh, the one thing I did notice is it took a little more force to remove the, the compound from the C4. Same thing with this bottle. The bottle seal was trapped in the lid and not on the actual bottle itself. So I had, again had to pry it out. That did annoy me, but again, minor things. Paired up with the Hexlogic white polishing pad. Speed setting 3. Arm speed slightly faster than the cutting speed and I'm using very little down pressure, if at any at all. Wipe off of the Precision 4 was actually quite nice. The two things that did stand out to me was the smell of these compounds. Whereas in Sonex doesn't really have much of a smell, both the C4 and the P4 have a very blueberry grapey smell to them. Very strong. Um, it was actually quite nice. In my final conclusion, when I compared the Kempo guys' new compounds, C4 and P4, uh, paired with the, the Hatch Logic pads, were very equally compared to uh, the Sonex Cut Max and the Lake Country Low Lint Wool Pad with the 3D1 and the Lake Country One Step Pad whereas in the f finish was very close to, to on par to each other uh, compared to the two center test panels where there were still quite some larger defects still left behind um, but uh, sort of expected that from the middle sections being on a more moderate to, to moderate hard clear coat versus a softer version in the end uh, I, I do definitely give a thumbs up to the Chemical Guys compounds for this, this test panel. And with that, I thank you for watching and wish you all the best in your future paint corrections.